I don't think paying off the house is the only solution. In fact, I could make the argument if you put all your money in your house and then work like work part time and maybe invest more in your health and stuff like that, that could be prob like that could be more stressful because if something happens now you have maybe less money. If like something happens to you or someone happens to um, your husband, now you have this money tied up in a home that bank may not may not want to give you. Hi, Caleb and team. I have a money situation for you. That's why we're here. We are planning on buying a different home next year for around $240,000. And after profits of our current home plus land sale, we will be on track to have around $190,000 awesome. cash to work with. Do you suggest we put it all towards the house? Hey, Dave Ramsey, given <laughs> interest is 7%, or put 20% down and put the rest towards an Airbnb, Airbnb vacation rental. Nearly paying off the house would allow me to work part-time plus pursue my business uh, and focus on my health. We would be managing the Airbnb ourselves, but it would be great to have a place to occasionally use while also making money. One more thing, and hopefully not TMI, is she'll be contributing towards a retirement, maybe around 10%, so not super aggressive, However, when she retires, she'll be inheriting a multi-million dollar estate and trust. That's awesome. My husband wants to pay off the next house ASAP while I'm on the fence about it. Uh, she's on the fence about it because she said her parents paid off their house too early and they regret it because of the money that they could have made uh, with those funds and, and other opportunities. And so she's asking, I want to be a good steward of what I've been given. And I feel like there's a not a terrible choice between those two. So she's really just trying to figure out uh, which of those two good choices. To, amazing, to amazing. And with. it is two, you're choosing between two good choices. And I, I think the world of this question, and um, if you're ever open and want to talk about this question on the show, uh, it would be it would be fun. Like, Joel, think about how cool this would be if, as people start asking these questions and they come on the show and we have dialogues. How cool mm -hmm. it's going to be. I, I literally get goosebumps because I know like <laughs> the ripple effect that this is going to have. Um, here's, here's go to the description, yeah, yeah, go, go to, to the description, description. Go, so betterwealth.com slash make it numbers, go apply, ask your question. And we're just, we're just excited. And I want to thank everyone that, um, was the first to ask the question and apply to be on the show. It's, yeah. it's really, really cool. So, um, here's, here's what I would say. Um, there's a lot of moving pieces here. One thing that I want to go back to is they said something about if they paid off the yeah. home, yes. it would okay. allow her to start her own business. Do you want to reread that? Or Okay, so she says, uh, given interest is 7%, uh, put 20% down um, and put the rest towards an Airbnb vacation rental. Nearly paying off the house would allow me to work part time, plus pursue my business LLC and focus on my health. Okay, so so yeah. he here's what I'll say: is focus, focusing on your business and your health. You're not going to see me tell you to not like I. That goes before a lot of financial decisions. So, what I would challenge, what I would challenge you is. Why is why is paying off the home the only scenario to allowing you to purchase start your business and focus on your health? And I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play out a crazy scenario, but hear me out. What if you took twenty percent of the your the home that you're gonna buy, which is two hundred and forty thousand? Um, what if you did twenty percent of that, which you know back of the napkin is like forty eight thousand? And what if you put that 20% down and instead of going and buying an Airbnb, what if you put that in a side account, like a say high yield savings account? And like, what if that just paid, like that just paid the payments on a $240,000 home, which is like not expensive, not expensive at all. Like we could, I, I sh probably should, I could whip that up. Um, actually right now I'm just going to do that. So, um, so we're gonna get the handy dandy calculator out, and if I do a, if I do a, just I'm just going to do a two hundred thousand dollar loan. So I'm just gonna assume Joel that there's ten thousand dollars of closing cost over three hundred and sixty months at seven percent interest rate, which I think we could do better. That's a monthly payment of one thousand three hundred and thirty dollars. 
Okay. So I'm just hypothetically saying this. Instead of going and getting an Airbnb, you could put 20% down on the home, put the other money in a high yield savings account for now. Just hear me out. From that savings account, pay $1,330 monthly payments. Obviously, with insurance and all these things, it's going to be a little bit more, but you have lots of months covered, and it will allow you to decide to dial in your health, invest in your business, and it, and it will allow you to do do both. What I'm not a big fan of is doing an Airbnb at the cost of your health and doing what you really want. Not at all. Like, I, I and by the way, wouldn't be a fan of that regardless of what you said of like, hey, we could do this cool opportunity, this oil and gas thing, not investment advice, this, you know, this super crypto thing. And it's like, but at, but if we do that, I'm not able to invest, like dial in my health and in my business. Like if there's something there and if like you're working full time and don't want to be like, I don't think paying off the house is the only solution. In fact, I could make the argument if you put all your money in your house and then work like work part time and maybe invest more in your health and stuff like that, that could be prop like that could be more stressful because if something happens now you have maybe less money if like something happens to you or someone happens to um, your husband now you have this money tied up in a home that bank may not may not want to give you so so again joel this is like a super long question but and i'm, I'm going to share this and this is again not investment advice and um i would love nothing more for this person to come on the show and we could talk about it um but what i would look to do is i would look to put 20% or less down on the home that they're going to move into. Put the rest of the money in a high yield savings account. From that savings account, have that pay the bank. Invest in their health and business. And then maybe a year or two from then, the business fizzles out. They get more clarity on what they want to do. That money could then go to, towards the house or could go to another thing um but but again i would i would make sure that like if you're not healthy you're not wealthy and it's as cliche as that sounds it's cliche for a reason and uh i that's that's what i personally would do if i was in their situation and um I don't know if you have any follow-up questions. I mean, there's a there's a lot of moving pieces there, but I think th there's scenarios out that weren't even part like part of the initial question. And I just would remove the Airbnb thing right now. I agree with with her husband. My, I think there's just too many moving pieces that could be part of the anxiety. I'm okay paying a little bit of extra interest in the long run, um, and for having the ability to be more healthy, pursue my business, work part-time. And I'm just viewing it instead of having it a small payment, I'm okay with having a big, a little bit bigger payment knowing that I have $130,000, $140,000 in an account. It's kind of funding that and it gives you options. And you know, Joel, like I love options and I will pay a premium for optionality. Right. Yeah, when I was, when I was hearing this, she was describing this and it, there's nothing wrong with it, but it was almost like it's only these two options. Right. Like we can, the Airbnb is the answer to giving us what we want. And when I'm hearing that, I'm like, especially with better wealth, we're all about intentional living and health is a major part of that. And we believe it should be like a super high priority um, for anybody that, that we come in contact with. And so what I would say is, the Airbnb could become a stressor on its own. Okay. I think a lot of people believe it's this super passive thing and, and there are ways to create that, but there's so many things that can go wrong with a right. house on its own. I mean, a house is a major responsibility. Just because it's an Airbnb doesn't mean that you're void of those responsibilities. Yep. So the way I see that is that I think she was thinking it would allow her to kind of enter this retirement type of stage of life to work on her health and stuff. And I, I would just say, I would, I would avoid that risk. Yeah. And I, the fact that you have a business that you could be doing more in, I would, I would be asking you a lot of questions about that and what activities and what do you need more money or is it just more time? Like I would get really clear on that 
because I think there's so much cool opportunity out there. And the fact of the matter is, is this is the is is an outstanding loan really going to be an issue if you're expecting to have a inheritance? Like, notice how the inheritance wasn't even really on my radar. But the fact that you are going to get something in the future makes it even more of like, why would you tie up valuable resources and tools in the short term? Yeah, uh, we would love to get you on the <laughs> show uh, if you're watching this. And so um, I'll be sure to send this video so you Yeah, you see and it. again, the call <laughs> to action is this if you're is, watching, yeah. if you have people that have questions, like for the last six, six plus years, I wasn't doing this. Um, and I just feel really called um, to, to be talking to people, answering questions. You can see that we're keeping this anonymous unless people want to raise their hand and say, hey, I'll, I'll come on the show. Um, whether you want me to look at your entire financial picture, we call that naked numbers, or if you just have an individual question, um, come on, come on and we're, we're excited to have you. So, all right, let's, let's go to the next question.